Thank you for watching Azure in 5 Minutes. My name is Michael Copps and I'm going to show you how easy it is to backup and restore an entire Azure Infrastructure as a Service VM. Our first step is to log into the Azure Admin Portal. Just go to azure.com and click on Portal in the upper right and log in with your Microsoft account. Once we're in the portal, let's go ahead and click on Virtual Machines. And here you'll see you're running virtual machines. Today I'm going to back up TS2 VM Backup. Before we go into Recovery Services to initiate our VM level backup, let's log into the VM and make a change so we know the point in time in which we're restoring this uh, this VM. So I'll go ahead and just make a change prior to backup and we'll go ahead and save the file and go back to our portal. Next, let's click on Recovery Services. Here we're going to enter our backup vault. Mine is COPS Demo Vault. If you don't have a backup vault, go ahead and watch Azure in 5 minutes configuring Azure Backup. So I'm going to click on the COPS Demo Vault and here you'll see our home page that gives us access to all the documentation on configuring backup. At the top we have documentation on protecting on-premises workloads but if you scroll down you'll see new documentation protect Azure Virtual Machines and really it's broken down into three easy steps. First we're going to discover which Azure Virtual Machines are out there. Then we're going to register the Azure Virtual Machines. And what registration does is it deploys the Recovery Services extension onto the VM. This extension enables backup to take an application consistent backup with the Volume Shadow Copy Services, or VSS, without the need, and this is important, to shut down the VM. And then finally, we're going to initiate the protect of the Azure Virtual Machine and once we have a protection backup taken, then we can go ahead and initiate our restore. So let's go ahead and discover our virtual machine so we can back it up. So I'll go ahead and click on Discover Virtual Machines, which takes me to my registered items page. And this shows the existing VMs that I am currently backing up, and, and these are the ones that are registered. I'll go ahead and click on Discover on the bottom. And this may take a couple minutes to run if you haven't run it before. Once the discovery is completed, go ahead and click on Register. And here we'll have a list of our existing virtual machines that are available to be backed up. So let's go ahead and click on TS2 VM Backup, and that will be added as a VM that we're going to get registered. We'll click the checkbox, and then over the next few minutes, Azure will be registering this VM with the appropriate backup extension. Once registration is complete, we're ready to protect our VM. So go ahead and make sure your VM is selected, and we'll go ahead and click Protect. Choose the VM again, hit Next. And now we need to create a protection policy or use an existing one. This is basically the schedule on when we want to actually back up this VM. So I'll go ahead and create a new policy. We'll call this Test2. We'll do a daily backup. And we'll do it in the middle of the night, let's say 1 a.m. And I have some retention options. We'll go ahead and do every 30 days. Choose the default setting and click Finish. So once we've created and assigned our protection policy, at the top we can go and see our protected items. I have a previous VM, Test VM Cops, that is currently protected and as one recovery point. That means one backup has run. And for the VM we just decided to protect, my initial uh, backup has not run yet, but for the sake of this demo, I'll go ahead and backup now. We can go ahead and click on Jobs in the upper right, and we could see the backup is currently in progress. Once our backup is complete, and it looks like this one took about 29 minutes, we can go back to the Protected Items section and see that we have one recovery point here for TS2 VM Backup. So before we run our restore, let's go back into our virtual machine and open up our VM Backup document and make a change so that we know 
the difference between our backed up VM and our live VM. So let's go ahead and save our file and then go back into our admin portal and select the VM we're working with and we'll go ahead and initiate a restore. And our restore an item wizard comes up and we have one recovery point listed. If I had multiple I could go ahead and select from a date but we'll choose the one that we just created. Hit the arrow and then we'll name our new virtual machine. We'll call this TS2 VM Backup or TS2 VM Restore. We could create a new cloud service or select an existing. We'll go ahead and just create a new one and we'll just leave the default no virtual ne uh, network, no subnet. We can change that later. And we'll initiate the restore and you'll see it's creating the restore job here. And then if we go back over to jobs, our restore is currently in progress. And once our restore has completed, and as you can see, this one took about 20 minutes, let's go ahead and go back into our VMs in our Azure Admin Portal. And we'll see that TS2 VM Restore is now running alongside of the original VM, TS2 VM Backup. So let's go ahead and connect to the new VM, restored VM and go ahead and open up File Explorer and look for the file that we made changes to. And you'll see here that the changes we made after the backup to the live version are not here in the backed up version. So hopefully you saw that backing up and restoring Azure VMs is quite simple. For more Azure in 5 minute videos, go ahead and go to azure.msts2.com. Thank you for watching.